What does it mean to be happy? Cause it looks like we all don't know Glass half full or empty Man, we just put them on the show Try to look to the heavens To tell us things that we beg to know Like what did the song mean? There's no tomorrow Oh, you know I tried to find a purpose in my life To drive me, to guide me Hi my name is Richard Pennell. And my name is Lewis. I'm not a professional carp angler, but definitely a carp enthusiast. A family man who is truly passionate about carp fishing. In this vlog, I take my youngest son Lewis for a day session at Lodge Lake, and I couldn't have asked for a better ending to the session. And of course, I will try and explain all of the rules and everything you need to know about carp fishing at Lodge Lake. So good morning, I'm off out on a bit of a special adventure. Today I'm gonna to be fishing Lodge Lake and I have a special guest with me. It's my youngest son, Lewis. And, and the aim of the game today is Lewis wants to catch a big fish, a personal best. He has caught carp before, but I think the biggest he's ever landed is about four pound. So if I am lucky enough to catch one today, then Lewis is going to be taking full spotlight, taking the rod and hopefully catching a new PB. Today I'm going to be using the Nash Bushwhacker because I'm going to be fishing so close to the tree line over here. Let me get that right on the camera. That instead of taking five, six casts at it to get it perfect, I'm just going to be putting it out with my baiting pole why Lewis has found a Pinnell Productions hat. I still think you should wear yours. Oh, look at that. He's found two Pinnell Productions hats. Somebody's been going through my bag. <laughs> I was going to call it a lucky hat if we hadn't have started catching, but he wants to get off to a lucky hey. start straight away. The rods and rigs are all set up. I'm all set up the whole way across. I've got my PVA foam so that I know that it's going to be presented. I think there's not a lot left to do apart from to get my rods in the water. Let's get them done. For bait, I was using mainline cell, and even though I was using my baiting pole to put my rigs out, I still flipped out a few freebies with my throwing stick. Okay, so I've been asked, how many times have you asked me today, Lewis? I don't know. Maybe I can count. And what do you want me to do? Put the hat on. <laughs> all right, all right, that's it, mate. The hat <laughs> is on. <laughs> Let's get it. Hopefully this is going to be the lucky hat. And as it stands, we haven't seen any carp yet. I have seen quite a lot of anglers just walking around. Except from all the bubbles and the fish, is it? Except for what? Except for all the fish and the bubbles. Except for all the bubbles that Lewis has seen. And all the fish I've seen. And all the fish that Lewis has seen. I personally haven't seen any carp topping or boshing or anything yet. It is still very early in the session, so obviously we do still have high hopes. We're only fishing for one carp, hopefully. Hopefully Lewis's PB. 
So I'll give you an update as and if anything happens. But for the moment, it's probably time to get breakfast sorted, which is only a meal deal from the local co-op, but that'll do. Yeah, I'll catch everyone soon. Party people. <laughs> All right, mate. How's it going? Good. What are you doing? Filming because I'm bored. Filming because you're bored? Yeah. All right. We've got no bites, sadly. We get the same. We had the say about that. Well, we've got to update them that we've had no bites so far. So, what do you have to say about it? <laughs> I haven't got a lot to say about it at the moment, mate. But I have my fingers crossed that we're going to catch a fish soon. Why? Well, what have you got to say about it? <laughs> Mr. Cameraman, <laughs> what do you have to say about it? Much. Here you go. Okay, now the camera is actually wearing a hat. <laughs> Why? Well, what have you got to say about it, mate? Um. I've seen a load of fish jump. I don't know how he hasn't. He's sitting right there. <laughs> I'm sitting behind him. I know I can see the fish. And okay, there's loads of bubbles. But can, Look, there's like six can, bubble down. Can I just specify that we are carp fishing and what you are seeing a smaller fish, maybe a perch or a roach. What's a perch? A perch is a smaller fish. What's a roach? Roach, that's a smaller fish as well. Oh. So, Mr. Cameraman, who has been dying nah, for me to camera. update everybody, but as it stands, there's not really a lot to update. Cheers, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's not really a lot to update in the moment. The bait's gone out. The rigs are on the spot. Because I put the rigs out with the baiting pole, uh, it has a perfect pocket of bait all the way around it. I have no idea what Lewis is doing with the camera, <laughs> but as I'm in the middle of an update, which he's been dying to do, yeah, that's pretty much everything. The rods are in the water, the rigs are on the spot. The fact that we've been here for probably two hours and caught, haven't caught anything yet really doesn't surprise me, but I think I gave an update about who's been a little bit restless a minute ago. But yeah, I will update everybody soon. Tell them don't forget to hit subscribe. Hit subscribe. Peace. And I've literally got two rods on there. Nice one. I can put a third rod out for yep. Lewis. Here he is, the big yep. boy himself, the guy after his PB. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, so officially I can fish three rods, two for me, one for him, both on the same yeah, bite Yeah, you alarm. can fish three rods. You can have three rods. Yeah, yeah, it? yeah. So yeah. I will be fishing two rods and yeah. he'll be fishing a rod. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, that's fine. All right, fantastic. That's fine. Yeah. Just like to clear that up with the yeah. bailiff, he doesn't want to be on camera, so I'm not going to put the camera on him at all. But generally... I'll probably on there anyway, but... <laughs> well, to tell you the truth, you just peeked your head on camera. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'm going to put no, another no. rod out for him, and yeah. I wasn't sure whether the rule was... Um, no, you're right, you're still two, only fishing with two rods. Two rods in one peg. No, you're only fishing with two rods. Your son, you can't, um, your son can't be sort of like miles yeah, away yeah. from you. Yeah, yeah. You know, so... Yeah, that's. I just yeah. wanted to clear that up. Yeah, I didn't yeah, want yeah. you to rock up. No, no, me no, have no. three rods out. I no. know that there is obviously. Well, there was two of us here. Yeah. He's <laughs> gone off over there now. <laughs> Who's gone looking for another fishing rod? <laughs> no, no. If he wants to fish. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If he wants to fish. All right. That's yeah. fine. Oh, brilliant. I had to quickly set the camera up for that. I know it's on a bit of a wonk, <laughs> but yeah. Thank you very much, mate. <laughs> or it should be that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
So I really do have to say thank you to this bailiff. He's a top guy. I was just discussing to him about putting a rod out for my Lewis and uh, we decided I might just put out a float rod but I didn't have any bait and then he said um, as on his walk round he'll check see if he can get any maggots off anyone and here he is mate honestly thank you very much That's okay <laughs> and we've actually got some bait <laughs> I honestly yeah I appreciate it mate That's like, all right, no I know you said you was camera shy earlier but yeah mate absolute brilliant job yeah, top guy. Uh, his name's actually John. I remembered when I was talking to him earlier. So yeah, you made Lewis's day. <laughs> you made my day. Now let's try and catch some little fish. <laughs> and what I should have added is a massive thank you to the angler in the next swim who actually uh, gave me the maggots. So Louis there on the float rod now. Hopefully. This will keep him entertained and we might catch a little perch or roach or something. What does it mean to be happy? Cause it looks like we all don't know. Last half full or empty. Man, we just put him on the show. Try to look to the heavens to tell us things that we beg to know. So he still hasn't managed to get a picture with one. What just happened? I got what I got. That was my second fish, and my dad dropped in the water. He got it out of his hand, and then my dad had a beep with his one, so he chucked mine back in, and then he got nothing. <laughs> so I okay. have two fish. I'm counting that as two fish. Okay, you, fish. you did land two fish. I've landed a couple as well. You've landed one. So, we've had a good day. We've caught at least, we've, together we've caught about five. I've caught about two, three. I kind of caught three. Because I got it on the wood thing and it, but it fell off, so it kind of counts as one. So, that's, but, so I basically caught about, I would say I caught two, but I kind of caught three. He caught what was called um, two, three as well. I don't know how many he caught actually, was it two or three? Oh, four now. <laughs> you might not be able to see it because of the shade. Okay, it's a little it? bit dark, but... There's another mini fish landed. <laughs> Lewis has given his update, so um, I guess I'll just leave him to it. That was surprising. I know everyone's going to comment down below. I should have had that fish, because I should have. But I was updating you, so I think I'm getting angle right. She's not like, I'm, I'm, I'm like on my knees, like, I'm on my knee, I'm like really ducking. I just want to get like on my head. Lodge Lake does have the traditional closed season running from the 15th of March to the 15th of June and the rules on Lodge are pretty basic when it comes to fishing days. Two rods only, you must have a landing net, a landing mat and be in possession of a valid rod licence. Day tickets can be purchased off the bailiff on the bank. But to do night fishing, you must first join the night syndicate. It costs £25 to join, and whatever money is raised from the night syndicate, Milton Keynes Angling Association will match, and all of the money goes back into the restocking of the lake. But that's not the only requirement. You also have to agree to help bailiff the lake roughly once a month on a rotor. There is a private Facebook group for the Night Syndicate members, but for more information, please message the MKAA Facebook page. And don't forget to hit subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date with all my latest videos. But now, back to the carp fishing. Hey everybody people, my dad don't know what I'm filming, but who cares? Okay, you might see the fishing in the background, 
I'm hoping they don't go off. <laughs> my dad's wandered off to the next bay. That's my tent over there. There's a big rod there, I don't know what that is. He does spot me. So, yeah, do you ask like my chair? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, I was just filming because you weren't here. Oh, okay, I was only literally just was... there looking to see if I can see any fish. What was you saying? I was talking about we just put these two out. Yeah. And my dad saw a carp jump. No, I didn't see a carp jump. I saw a carp cruising past. Oh. It wasn't on the spot. It was just a dark shadow. It was definitely a carp. It just swam in front of us and oh, I almost thought, I, cause you moved saw off. Because I wasn't here when you saw it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, um, I take it Lewis has just explained what happened. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, still no action. We've landed a couple more on the float rod. Uh, nothing really to report. So, well, I suppose the sun's come out and that means it will get the carp moving about, so hopefully they turn up around this side of the lake soon. Okay, we did. We we have we have, we have a net that was basically under the water. We tried to put ten fish in it. We got two. Our third one, my dad was trying to put in the net. He slips. It falls in the water. But it's like we're gonna we're gonna catch another one. And it's like it is a slow process. It's a slow process. I know why I said that wrong, but I just can't talk. Slow process. Well, he said. The carp rods haven't hit anything, but it keeps beeping because from all the ducks. So we have picked them up about four times, thinking we have something. But we have. I really want to get one. So dad, my dad, have got about one or two more little fish than me. Because I think he might have got one more than me from that one he just had. But he might have had one when I walked up. When I was um, in here, so I'm not. When I was in that tent over, so I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, so I take it Lewis has been updating you again. What we've decided to do after catching a couple of roach, Lewis said, "Can't we just put the net down and keep a few in there?" And he'd like to try and catch ten roach, and we're going to put them in the net. And if we manage to do that, we'll show you them all at the end. On the carp front, it's still been very quiet. Um, I don't know really what to say. The sun's come out. I saw one carp cruising about earlier, but apart from that, the lake's still. There's, there's just not a lot to report. But at least we're keeping active by landing a couple of smaller roach. And uh, if anything else happens, I'll give you a proper update in a little while. my update I've not caught any carp yet I'm hoping for one day I'm hoping for at least a 10 pounder I think the the biggest one I've ever got was about a five pounder four pounder maybe because that was a couple years ago I'm hoping for about a 10 pounder today but I'm like I'm thinking I don't think I will because we haven't caught anything yet but I am hoping, I've caught some little ones on that bobby thing and my dad have seen a carp from the distance cruising around. I don't think, he, I think it might, he saw the shadow. I think he was just um, like, just saw it. I don't know where he saw it. <laughs> So we are on to our first car. I'll face it up. It has been a proper struggle. I want to give the rod to Lewis, but the problem is at the moment, we are literally in a big ball of weed. 
There's no. Hold it, hold it. No, no, you have to come around the other side, mate. You have to come around this side. So, it is, oh, it's one of them. I feel really bad. The amount of time we've waited for it. Oh, we did have to. Ooh. Got him. This one got you. This one has you. This one that does not. One of them does. Come here. Just, just hold the rod. Just hold the rod. Don't give it too much pressure. Just hold it like that. No, no, no. You come here, big boy. No, I'm getting this. What do you mean? You need to be the one catching it. I'm the one catching it, kind of. Wow, I thought we were going to do this together, mate. How are we going to meet then? Who's getting the net? It is in a big ball of weed, to be fair. I need to get untangled. I'm not even sure. I can see it. I'm not even sure if it's in the net. I can see it. Right. I don't just try to get it. Is it in the net? Are we even getting this? Are we don't get it from the camera over too high. <laughs> <laughs> I give you my skills, Dad. This is angled. This is on. Yeah. This one has. Do you have the fish? Oh, got me wet. We're gonna say big. I wonder if both come and get it. I can see it. We should weigh that. Give me five. <laughs> I it. Okay, so I'm not Hold sure on. how much the camera actually caught of that. As much as it was all about Lewis catching a carp, there was so much weed that it came through straight away. It was like I was rolling in a big ball of weed. I've literally come through that, but it was almost like as soon as it was netted, it was just a ball of weed straight away. So instead of having a mad fight with it, it was just like me slowly reeling it. Whoa, we're in again. We got two cars. <laughs> oh my God, we're in again. Wait, how are we, wait, how are we in to get? Lewis, this is all you, mate. Um, how are we in to get? Oh, I don't know. Should, pull, should I pull these all out? <laughs> Come on. What do you do? Come on, come off. I'll try and get these cameras on it. Oh, I can feel this one as well. It's in a big ball of weed. It's literally gone straight in the weed, straight away. How are you so kidding? Walk backwards slowly. Walk backwards slowly. Walk backwards slowly. I have. No, wait, he's got two cars. Are you all the cars? Oh, all the cars. 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 Oh, all the
and um, that's the way you do it. Nothing all day and then just like magic, two within the space of five minutes. How's it going, Lewis? You wearing your lucky hat? I, I was wearing it the whole time. No, you took it off, mate. I think that's what the issue is. But yet again, I had to bring this one all the way through the weed. I've just been on my hands and knees to get it out. Uh, I think they're both commons. I don't think they're massive, but it was one hell of a load of fun, man. It was, it was proper fun. But it's going to take me a couple of minutes to sort it out, and then uh, me and Lewis are going to get a brace shot. So um, I'm going to give you an update in a minute. Means I'm going to have to hold one cart, mate, and you're going to have to hold the other. What? Are you ready? No. You told me you was ready to hold a carp earlier. Oh, You'd be waiting all day to catch one, I'll and hold. we caught two. I'll hold one over that. Yeah, of course, Surely. both of us. Okay. All right, I'm going to give you another update very soon. Oh, Come on! Wait. Go. You, you, okay, so you want to be as quick as possible to get your hands right underneath oh. it. Oh. Right, hold it up. You got it? Is it in top of the cameras? Look, can you see can the camera there? Oh, well, if, if it's flipped, just put it down gently. Oh, well, this is not going to be a perfect shot. It really isn't. We're oh, doing a one-time take. I need my so to I, I hope this works. But it's been an absolute epic day's fishing. It started off really slow, and then to end on a high, I couldn't have asked for a better session. How was your session today, Lewis? Good. How much fun was it? Fish. Fish? Yeah. <laughs> So, too many fish. Uh, too many fish. So in the end, you got the 10 fish that you wanted, the smaller yep. perch. And then in the end, instead of getting one carp, we got two, two. carp. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Oh. Right, stop messing. Put it back, mate. Very gently. Very gently. I right, I will give you a very quick show of the carp, I'll and then we'll slip them back. No, right, come jump in, mate. Ah, oh, can't wait to sleep. Right, so here we go. So this was the first one we landed. Yeah. I found three with there, yeah. Maybe this was the second one we landed, and what a way to end the day. Okay. All right, let's slip them back. I'm just trying to get all the little fish, all the fish. Okay, let's try and let them go together. Whoa. Oh my God. Whoa. That one was too full of energy. They're ready to go. <laughs> Banging way to finish the day. Get loads. How happy are you, Lewis? Happy. I thought we weren't going to catch one cup at the end of the day. I think, what did we do? We caught two. We banged one out. We put it out. We were so happy. You, and then what did we hear? Ding, ding, ding. A couple of minutes, about a minute later. Um. Oh my <laughs> God. And then, I don't, the second one was about a bit bigger. Oh, we didn't even weigh them. Oh, we forgot to weigh them. Oh my God. Oh no. Pop the rod back in. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it is alright though. I think there was probably about between maybe 12 to maybe 13, 14 at a push. Uh, but I, I, did, I wanted to know how much I, I caught today. Ah, uh, well, at least you know you had loads of fun, At mate. least you know it's around um, At least right. you know around Hampshire. <laughs> yes. Well, I was just literally finished packing up, but I suppose we will literally end the vlog right now. Um, did you have fun today? Yes. How many carp did we catch? Two. Two. And we came for one, yeah? Yep. <laughs> I just heard him say that. So, uh, yeah. So we pretty much done what we came to do. We had loads of fun. Big thank you to the bailiff and the other angler for hooking us up with their maggots. Uh, that was absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much. And thank you everyone who's watched the full vlog. Uh, big thank you to everybody who's already subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already subscribed, then don't forget to hit subscribe that subscribe. To Productions. <laughs> don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Tell them one more time just in case they didn't hear. To, um Subscribe to Pinnell Productions. <laughs> Thank you. And if you are on Facebook, then don't forget to look me up. My uh, Facebook page is Pinnell Productions Fishing Adventures. And until my next adventure, 
tight lines. Peace. Canal Production. Canal Production. Canal Productions. Canal Productions, you've officially been car fishing with Richard Canal, big ups. <laughs>